Okay, in this video, we're going to work through this problem involving angles of elevation and depression, but also involving multiple triangles. So we're given all this information here, and our first job is to show that the height of the building is about 19.5 meters, meaning that's our answer, that's our goal. We've got to work out the correct journey there. So we've got two triangles we can be working with. We've got the right angle triangle on the left here, but also one on the right. So which one do we start from? Well, you see both triangles have a given length, 25 on the left, 62 on the right, but only the blue triangle has an angle that's given to us as well. And so only that one's gonna be useful at this stage. And so we're gonna use this blue triangle to work out that height we're looking for. So in this blue triangle, uh, what's the hypotenuse? Well, opposite the right angle is the blank side here. Then opposite the 38 degree angle is the height we're looking for. So H is the opposite. And the 25 will be the adjacent. And so we wanna use opposite and adjacent, that'd be a 10. So that's gonna give us 10, eating the 38 degree angle, is h over 25, opposite over adjacent. Okay, so to get the h by itself, we will then multiply both sides by 25. That will kill the over 25 on the right, meaning h is just 1038 degrees times 25. If you put that into a calculator, you should get that 19.5 that we were looking for. So that's the first part done. Second part is about the car on the right, and uh, we are looking for the angle of depression from the top of the building to the car. To get an angle of depression, first thing we need to do is to draw a horizontal from the top of the building. So if we're measuring an angle from here, we can't just use the angle in there because that's against the vertical. We first need to draw that horizontal coming from here. Then the angle of depression is looking down from horizontal towards the car. So this angle in there. So how do we get this angle? Well, we said before that we need to be able to bring this angle somehow into the right angle triangle. And again, the best way to do this uh, is to recognize that the horizontal up here is parallel to the horizontal down there. And so again, noticing this zigzag pattern here will be really helpful because it means that the angle here is the same as the angle down there. They form that zigzag. Okay, so how's that useful? Well, to work out the angle, we've got to have two sides. We have the 62 given to us, but we also worked out in the first part that the height of the building is about 19.5. And so we can use that now. Again, the hypotenuse is blank, leaving us with the opposite, which is 19.5, and the adjacent, which is 62. And so we'll use a tan again, except this time, it's gonna eat this unknown angle here. And it's gonna give us 19.5 over 62, that opposite over adjacent. And so what we need to do then is use the backwards machine, the inverse tan, and we feed that the whole fraction and putting that into a calculator gives us somewhere around 17 degrees. Okay, and so that's how we can use uh, these triangles to solve problems. We sometimes need to sort of do things in two steps. We might need to use one triangle where there's more information given to us to work out some unknown length, and then we can use that length maybe in another triangle to work out something else we've been asked for. So that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.